It was hard to sleep last night. It, uh, it wasn't something I was able to do well. Nervous a, a little bit about everything, but certainly not nervous about the way I feel. When I had met Ray, I always tell him that I pretty much knew right away that we would end up getting married, and I always joke that it took Ray a little bit longer to get there. I think everything about him, like I love his kindness and his passion for what he does, and that was something that really drew me to him in the first place. Um, and then as we've continued to date, it's just everything about him, um, and it's hard to put into words about that. When I proposed, it was a bloody mess, and, and I mean me. And so that's what, it, that was, was so difficult. So now I've been sort of warned, like, don't, like, don't you break down on me. Because <laughs> then, yeah, so, because then she imagines herself tearing up. So as most of you know, I'm Michelle, I'm Jen's little sister. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into my speech. I can't believe that we've gotten to this day. It only feels like the other day that we were just storming in and out of each other's rooms, yelling at each other because she stole a piece of clothing or she moved an ob object or so much as glanced at something that belonged to either one of us. Everyone here knows Jen because they're either family or friends. However, I have the most unique relationship with her that no one else can share. I know that, uh, that Ray and Jen love each other so much and they truly appreciate each other. And I think that word's really strong. They clearly love each other, but that appreciation is what makes them such a strong couple. You know, Ray asked me to be the best man uh, tonight, but. He's the best brother anyone could ever have. He is my best friend. And tonight, I'd like to raise a glass to everyone. Is that mine? All right. All right. Raise a glass to the true best man in the room and the best woman in the room, Ray and Jen. erupts like volcanoes and then subsides. And when it subsides, you have to make a decision. You have to work out whether your roots have so entwined together that it is inconceivable that you should ever part. Because this is what love is. Love is not breathlessness. It is not excitement. It's not the promulgation of promises of eternal passion. That is just being in love, which any fool can do. Love itself is what's left over when being in love has burned away. And this is both an art and a fortunate accident. Those that truly love have roots that grow towards each other underground. And when all the pretty blossoms have fallen from their branches, they find that they are one tree and not two. something entered into lightly, since it requires that each person be willing to support the other in both good times and in bad. It will take commitment to hold true to the journey you will both promise today to share together. An intimate and secure relationship is not based solely on promises, but also on trust, respect, faithfulness, and the ability to forgive. A lasting marriage 
is based on all of these bound together by love. Our short poem from a book Jen gave me when she asked me to be her maid of honor pretty much sums it up. It's called The One. They should feel like home, a place that grounds your life, where you go to take the day off. I hope after long days, bad days, and ones you just want to forget, you come home to one another and the day instantly transforms into one just as beautiful as today, rain or shine. Ray and Jen, by the power vested in me by the state of Illinois, you are now officially husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Whether it was you or I who was picked from the cabbage patch like mom and dad told us, I still wouldn't trade sisters with anyone else. And as my sister, you deserve the best. I can see how much Ray adores you, Jen, and he loves you for who you are. <laughs> if there is something that can describe who my sister is, it's written in the form of a Shakespeare quote. Though she be but little, she be fierce. 